Hey guys, welcome on in. Here's my quick armor video. I'm going to show you what I am wearing for SCA Heavy Fighting. Here I'm showing you my soft kit. It is a pair of hockey shorts and top. Um, it has hip padding. It has kidney protection, elbow padding, more importantly, tailbone padding. I have had some tailbone injuries in the past from horseback riding, so I like to protect that area. Um, underneath these items, I do wear a pair of leggings and I do wear a tank top. Then I also pull out my roost pants as my persona is Viking inspired and I realize I probably should have uh, not had them inside out, but you know, professional, it's fine. So I'm just going to slide those suckers on. Um, I do have my Jill cup already in. Uh, a Jill cup is a protective genital region cup. I do recommend buying them online. They're extremely difficult to find, almost impossible to find in the store. So save yourself some time. Just order one online. Um, everything will be linked below in what I use so you can just get an idea. These are my knees that I am unstrapping and then putting on. These were recommended to me more recently. They are construction knees. They do wrap around the side and they do have an included sort of, you know, they a support a brace, a leg brace, which I do appreciate, uh, especially when you're running around and you get legged and you're falling to your knees a lot. It's just a little extra support. Um, keep in mind that every kingdom has its own armor rules and requirements. I highly recommend you look into them before you take any of this you know, to heart. These are just things that I am able to wear in the East Kingdom. So here I'm just strapping on my legs, making sure they're nice and comfortable, moving around a bit. Uh, I was always taught, you know, you don't want to be fighting your armor before you go into a fight. And this was the most important thing for me when creating this kit. Uh, just ignore me struggling putting on my pants. It's fine. Once again, absolute professional here. Uh, I also just realized that my leggings are the same color as my roost pants, uh, not intended, but 10 points. Then these are my legs, hidden plastic legs. They do come with shoulder straps. I do not wear them at this time. I did get a shoulder injury, uh, when I started fighting and just any sort of pressure on that does not help. So I end up never really ever needing them, but I haven't removed them yet because, I don't know, it's just maybe good to keep them on. Um, this is a C-belt. It will sit right on your hips, which is or right above your hips, which is really nice. I do like that the shorts have that hip padding that I showed in the beginning. Um, getting hit on the hip bone is definitely not fun. And then these are my legs. They're just attached with some straps and some clips. So I just slap those suckers on, wrap them around clip. Now I did get knee cops with these legs. I'm still not 100% sure if I want to go with these construction knees or use the knees that came with these legs and then add padding. I'm still very much experimenting with this kit. Actually, this kit might even be changed by the time this comes out. But, you know, I've been having a lot of requests to just kind of see where I'm at in this stage and this is where I'm at. So I'm going to pull up those roost pants. The great thing about the roost pants is there is a lot of room, nice and baggy. I'm showing here you my range of motion. Some people were worried about it sitting weird or, or things pinching. Um, I don't have any of that. The plastic has padding, like a quilted padding on top that cushions it really nicely along with the padding on my hockey shorts. So just tying those suckers up. Like I said, roost pants are US pants are great for hidden legs because, I mean, you can hide a whole nother body in there, honestly, sometimes. Um, so I'm just tying those off, doing my little dance. Now I am kind of planning out what I want to wear next. There is uh, some sort of um, things that you're going to notice that I will point out now that I know I go through is I get really nervous armoring up. I start to overthink I start to, um, like the littlest thing, the littlest hang up stresses me out. I f always feel rushed. Like I thought this video was like five hours long. It was like 12 minutes. I was like, oh wow, I did get armored up a lot faster than I thought. Another thing to point out is this is maybe the third time I'm putting on this armor. So I will struggle with it later, but just, you know, prepping you for later on when I get a, lose my cool a little bit. Here is my 
waist belt, waist cincher, whatever you want to call it. Um, I do wish that I had asked for the straps to be a little bit longer because I did not measure while wearing my C belt and it does overlap on the bottom of my C belt. This is where I start to struggle on the bottom belt a little bit. Recommend obviously taking measurements when you're wearing anything under what you're going to wear. Um, I will be adding longer belts just to kind of help a little bit. Uh, on the back of this C belt or not C belt on the back of this waist belt I did attach pieces of plastic to just give myself a little bit more kidney protection um, and a little bit more support I just feel super super comfortable I have had people ask about the hip pieces if they cut in at all later on in this video I will show you in detail each piece and the hip pieces are actually super flexible here are my shoulders I did attach my shoulders to an old uh, leather gorget the reason being is I've always struggled with shoulders. I don't know. You could see me struggle now with even just putting them on, but I've had struggles with shoulders falling forward, shoulders just not staying in place, getting in the way when I'm trying to fighting. Once again, you don't want to be fighting your kit when you're going into combat. So I kind of devised this little thing where um, they sit perfectly right where they're at. Uh, I do just have it you know, temporarily, temporarily attached with paracord. Uh, you know, once again, this is a constantly changing sort of situation. I do have motorcycle padding attached on the inside. I find as a newer fighter, I get hit a lot in the shoulders and that hurts. That, that definitely is not comfortable getting hit on the shoulders. So I know shoulders or I shouldn't say I know, I believe shoulders are not a requirement for a lot, if not most kingdoms. Once again, check on your kingdom. Um, but I, I prefer it. I, like I said, I get hit a lot in the arms and you know, these are not heavy. They're not hindering me in any way. And honestly, I think they kind of look badass. So I'm rocking it. I do appreciate Sheva for slapping me, giving me a gold star, slapping a gold star on there when I went to my most recent fighting event because it actually kind of now helps me which way it goes forward. So GG Sheva on that. So this is another thing too, is I kind of love that like I can just wear the waist piece and my shoulders checking range of motion there. Uh, because if I just kind of want to get armored up sort of, especially for Penzik, like a lot of times we'll get armored up in waves. Uh, this kit really allows me to be like, okay, I could put more on or, oh, I need to cool down. I need to take some pieces off. Here's the gorget I'm putting on. Now this gorget is brand new. So that means that this belt and buckle is very, very, very tight. It is very stiff. This is where you start to see me kind of lose my cool a little bit. I cheat a little bit looking into the, you know, the camera, trying to see uh, how to put the buckle in. Still can't see it, so I'm back to doing it by feel. You should be able to put your entire set of gear on in complete darkness. You should be able to do it all by feel. I uh, always believe that, you know, never, never have a piece that you have to require or rely on someone else just because there's always going to be that one time you just can't find someone right so i start to lose my cool a little bit i put it on but i finally get it in um starting to get a little frustrated anxiety is getting a little high starting to get a little stressed out this is okay this is normal i'm starting to feel a little claustrophobic around my neck i'm gonna try to pull my my uh tunic up a bit um help breathing a little bit loosen things up but you know it's okay. It's normal. It's normal to get a little claustrophobic. Your adrenaline's going. I, I knew I wasn't even fighting after this, right? And my adrenaline starts to go. So here's my chest piece, my piece de la resistance. That was probably horrible. Uh, <laughs> I love this. I love this. This was completely an idea that I had kind of put together after seeing my knight um, and kind of what him and my uncle knight put together. So I have a leather chest piece. See, I'm losing my cool here. I have a leather chest piece. I have a plastic fencing piece on the inside to protect my chest. And then I did add some lamellar on the bottom, both for looks and for a little bit extra protection around my sternum stomach area. I do get hit there a lot with, um, you know, I get hit there a lot with anything, especially melees, um, a lot of thrusting from swords, spears, all that, you know, so I just figured I would slap a little lamellar on there. I'm struggling a bit more. I'm starting to really lose my cool. This is another piece that I wish I had asked for the belts to be a little bit longer. I will be making the belts a little bit longer just to kind of get that leverage, um, and give myself that room. 
So I take a deep breath, I focus up, I remind myself I'm safe, I'm okay, you know, uh, stay calm, stay cool, edit this out if I need to, which I decided not to because I, I think this is, uh, you know, important of the armoring process. Putting on that armor, your adrenaline does start to spike. I mean, it does start to realize like, oh, when she puts this armor on, we're going into combat. It's okay, you know, so just take a deep breath, stop, focus up. And then boom, got that sucker on. Um, I do, uh, I am squired. So I do like to wear a squire belt when I'm fighting. This is my fighting belt. Once again, checking range of motion, making sure nothing is pinching. Very, very important, especially for us curvy ladies. So now this part does flap up a little bit. I don't love it. Um, but the belt <clears throat> is perfect for it. Holds it down um, and still allows movement, which is... A thousand percent really wanted with this kit was being protected, having good movement, um, you know, embracing my general curves, you know, just being comfortable. I wanted to be comfortable in my armor uh, and still legal and protected. So there is the top of it. I do have some openings on the side here, which do help with range of motion, but I did get a really good thrust and a really good hit in on that spot. So I'm still a little undecided if I want to add a little chain mail or a piece of leather or something or, you know, just get good, right? <laughs> um, because, you know, there, there's that fine line of being too protected and it hindering your fighting versus, you know, um, just be safe, right? So this is me strapping in my arms. This is when I also start to panic and I feel like I'm taking forever. So there are a few times I will like look at the camera because I'm checking on the time and I'm like, oh, I'm only like 12 minutes in. Not that big of a deal. I also realized I didn't poke holes in my elbow cop uh, belt yet. So I just kind of like give up on that a little bit. So just ignore that. Like I said, still a work in pro process. Um, now you see that space between my shoulder and my elbow. Uh, that was where I got a really, really good hit um, at this last event. So I'll be adding uh, additional armor and or padding there. I find as a new fighter, once again, you get hit a lot in your shoulder, a lot in your arm and a lot in your legs, especially like the upper thigh. Well, you sh it should be the upper thigh, right? You shouldn't be getting hit in the knee or below the knee. Um, but that's just something to keep in mind. If you're a new fighter, don't be afraid to extra pad those areas, get comfortable. And then as you get better, you can remove stuff, you can adjust stuff. So be comfortable. Now here's the bag. I keep all my stuff in. Like I said, I'll link below. I love this bag. It has backpack straps on it and duffel bag straps. I have flown my armor across the country in this bag. That bag is eight years old and still holding up. Here are my little scent packs. Huge, 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 rec you know, I super recommend it. I threw some packs in there. My armor always smells good. Do a little dance, get a little movement. All right, now we're going to go into a little bit detail of the actual pieces. So here we go. Like I said, here's a chest piece, the piece I'm the most proud of. You do have the plastic inside because, full disclaimer, I am a 36 triple D. I do have implants, so protecting my chest is very, very important to me. And allowing myself to also be able to breathe is why I made this chest piece. So you see how it is attached through thread and the lamellar below. Here is my waist belt where I show you once again my plastic and see how flexible that is. Definitely does not cut into my hips whatsoever. Just kind of helps mold things down and a little extra protection. Uh, my plastic that I sewed on. Uh, don't mind the dyeing of the leather. I am in, once again, middle of adjusting things. So I will be going over it all with some black leather dye. Uh, and sealing it. Here's my knees, just a little close up of kind of what they look at. Pretty straightforward. Purchased on Amazon. Super comfortable. Then you have my arms. My uncle Knight Colin was kind enough to help me make these. They This is what kind of gave me the idea for all of it was the plastic and leather. Here's my gorget. It does have metal on the inside. I do get hit a lot on the collarbone and my shoulders. Once again, with that motorcycle padding, the leather strap that keeps them down. Very, very comfortable. They are made out of hardened leather. I did get plastic to line them if I want to, but so far they've been holding up really well. Just attached with some paragord so I can adjust as needed uh, until I decide that I super like it. And then finally, my legs. Thank you guys so much for watching. And like I said, I will put all the links down below.